Prince Harry is slated to join a commemorative service on May 8th at St. Paul's Cathedral to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. This event, first held in London in 2014 and co-founded by Harry, serves to support sick and injured military personnel by encouraging their involvement in sports. Despite the significance of this milestone, recent developments indicate a growing discord between Prince Harry and Invictus Games CEO Scott Moore. The disagreement stems from Harry's demand for five-star accommodations for himself and Meghan Markle during the festivities, a request that Moore firmly denied with a single-word response, never. This dispute has cast a shadow over the upcoming anniversary celebrations, revealing potential fractures within the relationship between Harry and the Invictus Games organization. Questions are now being raised about the future of the games and Harry's role in them. Critics of Harry's demand for luxury lodging argue that it diverges sharply from the foundational ethos of the Invictus Games, which emphasizes strength through solidarity and resilience rather than indulgence. This controversy also points to a broader issue of the game's evolving nature, with increasing concerns about their commercialization and the growing prominence of celebrity and corporate influences. These developments are seen by some as a departure from the original spirit of the games which was focused primarily on the rehabilitation and empowerment of veterans. Amidst this backdrop, Prince Harry and Meghan have been advised to work on improving their public image in the UK, especially in the run-up to their visit next month. Recent polls show that their popularity lags significantly behind other members of the royal family. According to one poll, Harry is favored by only 31% and Meghan by 21% of respondents, in stark contrast to Catherine, the Princess of Wales, who enjoys a favorability rating of 76% even as she undergoes treatment for cancer. The looming anniversary is also shrouded in speculation that Meghan's presence could potentially overshadow the event. There is also a palpable concern about Harry's safety, prompting suggestions that he might limit his participation to a virtual appearance via Zoom to avoid the risks associated with a public appearance. Social media and public commentary reflect a mix of support and skepticism towards Harry's situation. Some express hope that he will participate remotely to minimize media exploitation, while others worry about the security implications of the details of the service being publicly disclosed. This situation underscores the complex dynamics at play as Prince Harry navigates his commitments to the Invictus Games amidst shifting public perceptions and organizational challenges.